What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we're going to be taking a look at Blade HQ. I legitimately have not looked at Blade HQ for a whole week and it's been super difficult because I feel like I usually do it every single day. Um, but I haven't and I already know that there's a ton of new stuff here. There's a ton of exclusives. There's just a ton of awesome stuff coming. Uh, I can't wait to share it with you guys and I'm also looking forward to being surprised which is usually the case when I do these retailer tours. Thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. I will link the Blade HQ new arrivals page, the coming soon page and any other relevant knife pages for you guys to check out right in the description. If you don't want to sit here and listen to my voice because I'm going to go through Blade HQ and comment on uh, what they've got, uh, then that's fine. You can check out those links. You can go through and do it on your own. But if you do want to hear my thoughts, that's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and start off here with something that uh, flashed across the screen that was really interesting. Microtech Magna Cut exclusives starting at 277. Yeah, I'm sure for the smaller ones, but the Magna, the, the, the Magna Cut exclusive Ultratech is honestly pretty cool. Um, as soon as the page loads, I would be more than happy to share this with you guys. We're just going to have to wait for a second. There we go. That's a Magna Cut Ultratech right there. So did they do... Uh, did, 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 did they do... Okay, that's not bad. Uh, 325. I was expecting them to start out at uh, like, you know, 375 or something. 8.4, well, everybody knows the specs in the Ultratech. Uh, they come in UTX-85, but I feel like, you know, people are going to want to check out the Ultratech. Magna Cut, that's pretty cool. I'm going to trust that um, Microtech's doing a decent heat treat, but I honestly don't know. So is it the yellow firing switch? Is that the unique element here aside from the Magna Cut? That's kind of cool. So I would imagine there's going to be a few different flavors, um, but it looks like the main thing here... Or they're not all yellow. Some of them are not. Here's one right here for even less. Oh, but it says blade material premium steel. So is, do we not know? I don't know. May, uh, so far, it looks like the Magna Cut versions are going to start at 325. And this just took me to the Ultratech page. That's why. They're going to start at... 325 and they're going to have the yellow switch on them through blade hq so that's pretty cool um other uh interesting things here the spider codelica 4 in cpm m4 for 124.95 is absolutely 100 percent a ridiculously good deal i am so happy to finally see m4 coming down a little bit because it is an absolute beast mode steel unless you live in an area where corrosion is a problem in which case it's more of like just a small monster mode steel it's not a full-on beast mode but it, this is really cool and i kind of like the mint color right civivi fixed blades this thing looks freaking awesome the diatomic it's even a, a cool name i mean uh, dude the way that they do this blade i cannot wait this suggests that the diatomic is going to be 147 no way I don't believe that. I think the Diatomic is going to be, yeah, $391. But it is interesting, and I, I think there's obviously a lot more going on here. Here's, hey, let me, listen, the price that's going to, you know, some people are going to make spaghetti in their pants over that. I can't really, you know, do anything about that. Just make sure you got paper towels, whatever, do you. But the Wii Diatomic is a cool uh, design because it's a folding dagger. Now, I don't understand the purpose of two pocket clips. Yes, you're seeing that right. There's a pocket clip on each side. <laughs> it's, you can put it in two pockets at once. You and your friend can both carry this knife at the same time if you don't mind being attached at the hip for your day. But all jokes aside here, um, they actually made it big. That's what she said. They actually made it. They... This, uh, as soon as I saw this, I was like, great. What are they, they're going to make it like six and a half inches, right? And, I, you know, that's that's me just being an auto critic, which is way too easy to do nowadays. But I love being surprised. I love having that part of me that's just a, you know, a cynical, rotten, level 100 spaghetti wizard. And I just love having the absolute beans slapped out of my face by a metaphorical canoe paddle. I just absolutely love it. There's nothing better than being wrong and being pleasantly surprised with something. They made this bad boy eight and a half inches overall. Uh, thank you, Knife Gods. Or not Knife Gods in this case, but just whoever at We stopped that 
table of people who sit around and they're like, yes, you know, what I think we should do is make another small knife. Yes, I agree. Let's make another small knife. What do you think? Yes, I also agree. A small knife would be great. We, we don't have enough of those. And one guy finally stood up and he said, enough, enough of this nonsense. Make a bigger one. And he went around and he slapped everybody with that canoe paddle that I was talking about. And they said, okay, let's make a bigger one. So yeah, it's expensive, but hey, credit where it's due. If this is the first time you've experienced my channel, welcome. Um, if you're wondering, is it like this all the time with this guy? Yes, it is. Is he aware? Is he self-aware? Kind of. Kind of is the, the right answer there. Let's take a look at um, some new arrivals, I think. Yeah, new arrivals. Baron Sun, pass. Pass on Baron Sun. If, if you know, you know. <laughs> Just major pass. Um, Microtech Dirac, yeah, okay. Oh, wait, no, that's a Dirac. Dirac, regular, okay, that's Dirac, 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 Dagger. These are all regular Diracs. Make some more Dirac Deltas, please. Um, I do like that they're doing more FDE stuff. That's cool. Uh, the, the FDE, this is Cerakote, surely, but that's cool that they're doing it. Ooh, <laughs> Serrated Stitch, that'll almost certainly be gone tomorrow, even though it is serrated. Somebody will pick that up. The Tactile Knife Co. Tanto Rockball is available at lots of different retailers right now, and it is very cool. What is this? The Paragon Crazer. Oh, it's only $850. Um, is it... Uh, oh, it's Paragon doing a titanium knife. Okay. Um, okay, it's it's U.S. made. Um, it's Wow, it's nine and a half inches. Um, okay, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I'm definitely going to check this thing out on the channel. I'll find, you know, if, if you've got one of these and you want to loan it to me uh, for review. Uh, I know I haven't done the community reach out for a while, but I'm sure somebody has one. Um, I, I will definitely take a look at it. $850 seems pretty steep, even considering it's made in the United States. Um, but uh, it's weird, right? And it's, weird is always fun uh, because we've got we've got enough not weird knives, right? We we are overloaded with not weird knives. So okay, Kershaw launch six, launch one. Those are classics. Oh, the you can finally buy the buy the Benchmade Narrows for five hundred and twenty two dollars. So that's there. That's I, I promise to check this out as well. Um, hey, maybe I'll be pleasantly surprised right? I don't know. But face value, you know, I mean, we're all going to judge that thing based on pictures and price tag. So I'm with you. It seems pretty high. You can buy this donut stuff. You can buy a donut Zippo for $47 if you like, if you're really into the donut thing. Um, cups and flex cut micro palm carving. That's probably, that's actually kind of cool. The wood carving stuff is actually pretty interesting. Um, we got to point this guy out right here, the Navo. Um, one of Wii's best priced knives in a long time. I have this knife here and it is very, very nice. This is carbon fiber and titanium with, guess what? A titanium backspacer and titanium pocket clip, CPM 20 CV steel for 192 in carbon fiber. But wait, if you thought that was Pretty impressive for the price on a Wii knife. You can actually get the Micarta version, which is also still CPM 20 CV and titanium for $178.50. Do you guys remember the last time Wii was releasing knives in titanium and 20 CV for $178? It was before I started YouTube. I That's one of the best priced Wii knives that I have seen in a very long time. It's a nice knife. You should definitely check it out. Another super weird knife that you actually are going to see both the Navo and the Hypersonic on an upload very soon. Perhaps the afternoon uh, of whenever you're watching this. Uh, if you're watching this at the exact moment that I uploaded it, then it'll be this afternoon probably or tomorrow. The GTC Hypersonic from Civivi. Yeah, Civivi collaborated with GTC. I mean, like just looking at this knife without knowing it's a GTC, I guarantee the vast majority of people would go, that looks just like a GTC. And they're right. It It's a freaking GTC Civivi. GTC Civivi. Um, if they had called this knife the the he he or the tee he, I would have just died. The GTC Civivi tee he or something. <laughs> they should have just continued on. They, they ruined it and called it the hypersonic. <laughs> 
the Civivi GTCPP. I would have I would have bought it just for that name. But anyways, uh, enough of that. Yeah, it's eighty nine dollars, but they did do a little extra here. This is just a steel frame lock, which I usually complain about, but they did some nice inlay work with the G ten. And look at that. They even gave it its own pocket clip, and they didn't stick that stupid Loch Ness monster clip on there. This is also a pretty big knife at eight point seven four inches, and fortunately, they had the sense to put fourteen C twenty eight N on it. It's pretty cool. I'll admit, I've had a lot of fun with that. It's not necessarily going to be the most attractive knife to everybody, but it is interesting, and it shows that Civivi is interested in taking a few more risks, at least through collaboration. So that's pretty cool. Um, I still am... There's part of me that wants Schrade to succeed. Uh, they, they don't have the best reputation, and they are at least making an attempt to do some things with their USA line. I don't think that's what we're seeing here, but I'm just letting you guys know, I, I I would like to see Schrade succeed. You know, there's a bunch of companies that I'm rooting for to succeed and Schrade is one of them. I would like to see them impress everybody. I would like to see them whip out that legendary canoe paddle and slap everybody in the face with it, right? I mean, you'd think you wouldn't want to be slapped in the face with a canoe paddle, but this one, trust me, you want to be slapped with. More Paragons. I think these are the aluminum ones. It looks like these have seen a price increase. Um, aluminum and Nest 35VN. Okay, yeah, those are, those have definitely gone up. I mean, okay. Uh, the CRKT Michael Walker Pursue. Let's see. Wow, these are expensive. What's going on with these? Damascus and titanium made where made where isn't there a tab that i can see more information damascus demands for titanium grape um everybody always tells me where this tab is and i'm just blind to it um but i would like to know where this is made or do they not oh it says right there it's made in italy eh. okay i mean if it flips well, what kind of Damascus? Michael Water Inventor. The inventor of the liner lock. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to admit that I don't know for sure that I knew that. Uh, let's see here. Damasteel. Oh, wait. Damasteel. Damasteel Blue Tongue Pattern Pivot. The pivot is Damasteel? Holy crap! <laughs> Wow, that's actually kind of neat. Uh, wow, okay. Well, but is the blade also Damasteel? Any monuments here on the Damasteel blade find the blank Rose Damasteel. Yeah, Rose Damasteel. That's Damasteel. Okay. Hey, it's got a little wheel on the pocket clip. That's weird. Go see our KT. I don't like that you guys are putting codes on the don't ruin the Damascus or the Damasteel that way, but that's um, kind of interesting. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, you know, if it if it flips well, I, I just don't have a lot of faith in um, Italian manufacturing when it comes to action. And anybody who has been... Sorry, I'm trying to really pad this out while I wait for my Kansas internet to load Blade HQ's second page. Um, you know, it hasn't uh, traditionally been all that great, but maybe they'll surprise us, right? Pray for the canoe paddle. Bug outs, we've seen those. We've seen those on the other uh, retailer sites. Here we go. More new spider codes. And are these available? So here's the one that I think is the most interesting. Yeah, this Lynch um, mod, is that's pretty cool. I think that's neat. Um, the Micro Jumbo is also sure to be a popular one. The new, well, these are just Native Chiefs in lightweight. And then there's also, of course, the Military 2 with the compression lock, which is just mind-blowing that it took this long to do that. Definitely the cake taker for right now. The Tenacious is might have its day. Yeah, that's an expensive Tenacious, but it's in CPM M4. Um, these are made in China, but again, not too many... Uh, full-sized CPM M4 blades out there sporting this price tag. Um, 
That might uh, obviously you're gonna have to uh, flip the pocket clip around because seriously, who care who carries their knives like this, right? <laughs> Here come the comments. How dare you! I <laughs> I consider myself a tactical person, so all right, I'm just kidding, right? I'm not though, but I'm kidding. Yeah, the M4 Tenacious. That's uh, that's pretty cool. I've been wanting to. I've been wanting to um, celebrate that knife. Now, here's what'll do it for me. This is what this is. This is the test it has to pass. That's great that it's M4 and it's still the tenacious, which is an excellent design. The ten, the tenacious design is wonderful, and the the base tenacious is still the best entry level Spyderco that you can buy, despite it being in Poo Poo Town 8CR 13 MOV steel, which is absolutely Poo Poo Town steel. The geometry of the blade makes up for that somewhat. It's the best way to decide if you really want to go ahead and jump into the Spyderco, you know, pool. Um, but uh, if the fit and finish is better, if they have found a way to improve their fit and finish, then that will absolutely be a wonderful knife. So um, let's see here. Let's keep moving. Chroma scales for the Spyderco PM2. I think, am I mistaken that, wow, holy crap. Look at these freaking World of Warcraft Cataclysm Edition <laughs> scales. Why is this so blurry? Honestly, it kind of looks like Balrog poop, but in a cool way. <laughs> in, in the coolest possible way. Um, this uh, They're made in the USA, too, for 40 bucks. What are these made out of? Polymer it has to be obviously, but still cool. I, unless I'm mistaken, I feel like whoops, something went wrong, and we got 500 points. Um, I uh, I think Nick Shabazz covered these, and maybe I'm wrong. I feel like he put some new scales on his PM2, and I thought they were chroma. I don't know, but these are wild, man. I mean, even with them being polymer, they're they're pretty cool. Um, Rat two scales as well. What is the Parent and child fist bump uh, version of the, the Corvid. <laughs> Concept is so beautifully weird. I, I'm, I'm not sure what to, what to make of that. But um, all right. You know, cool gift. It's an interesting version of the Stretch 2 um, with uh, the Damascus blade. Was that a dual action? Dude, What? Dual action auto hidden release for 50 bucks. Of course they made it out of 440. If you're new and you see 440 and you've heard, I've, I've heard 440 is decent, right? No, what you've heard is 440C is decent. 440 means it's 440A and or 440B. And there is a huge difference between those steels and 440C. And 440C is a dated steel, very dated. So while it is decent under $50, 440 is not. Still, though, I think it's interesting that they managed to do a dual action or hidden action auto. These are made in Germany? Mm, I don't know. I feel like maybe designed in Germany, but I don't know that for sure, even considering the materials there. Boy, they really need to shovel some more coal into those servers over at uh, Blade HQ. Here we go. Uh, once again, I'm going to cover this because I want it. That is the best looking Spyderco subvert I have ever seen. I know that some of you like orange. I don't, so I didn't buy the original. Um, but uh, this carbon fiber version with the titanium liners and the 20 CV blade, even at $420. These are made in Taiwan, not China, right? It'd be cool if they made these in the USA. But if they made that knife in the USA, you'd be looking at a $600 Spyderco. Still cool, though, for sure. Moving on, more Corvids. There's one with the USA flag, which is always hilarious to me because they're made in China. But, you know, unless you constantly call that out, people just have no idea. You know, you know those guys who like buy knives at the gas station with an American flag on it, but it's made in China? Why? Like, <laughs> don't do that. Um, anyways. Daytona, Military 2 in camo. Let's keep going here. Keep going. There's the Delica and M4. 
That that is officially the least expensive M4 blade that I've seen from a company who I trust is heat treating M4 correctly, right? More of these dagger knives, which are honestly pretty cool. It's kind of like if you, it's like a alternate universe spider co. Um, that's kind of what it reminds me of. And I think these are button locks. I don't know how good the cutting geometry is going to be on those, but they, they are weird, right? So if you're just kind of bored of our endless supply of extremely utilitarian folding knives now in 2023, and you want to buy something less practical, but more cool, go for that. Kershaw Launch, Launch 16 is an excellent knife. It's one of the best. Again, another example of CPM M4 actually coming down in price, but those are made in the United States. I really hope they decide to make a Launch 16 with a plain non-serrated blade at the very least, and ideally a non-serrated drop point blade I think would make everybody happy. Petrified Fish is coming out with some more weird stuff. Um, Mikado. Oh, Kidoki. Kind of looks neat. Full immunity, we've covered that. There's another Paragon. Oh, okay, so, oh wait, this is a gravity knife? Is that what they're, that's what they're calling it? Well, yeah, I guess, I mean, it's a button. It's their button thing. So they're calling, they're calling that a gravity knife. Hmm. That's just like asking for, you know, the law to come after you. <laughs> Um, but if you want a less expensive version and you don't mind aluminum, you can pay $400 for that one. It's just a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, wait, wait, was that a different, did that, did they call that the enchanter? Yeah. So it's a, is it a smaller? No, it's warlock enchanter. I mean, it's weird. Okay. All right. Uh, the Civivi Incisor 2, Karam. I'm pretty sure I have this thing coming. <laughs> hey, you know, it might be kind of expensive for a Civivi, but at least they're trying some different things. I, I applaud them for that. As a, a person who doesn't like to see Civivis cost over a certain amount and who also is very much not a fan of Karambits, I will say that I, I'm happy that they are, are doing some different things. That's got a big old ring on it. Um, boy, should we? Mm. This black diatomic with this awesome acid etching. Man, that is just really good looking. That is so good looking. I'm really interested to find out, you know, how it looks without one of the pocket clips. Um, because I feel like I would take one of them off. I, I don't know that I would care to be, you know, to have a tactical pocket option. That's what I'm going to refer to it as. I want to hear what they say about this. The winner of the best factory tactical at Blade Show, Texas. Um, I, I'm, I'm, uh, that's, that's a more reasonable one, uh, award. A, a lot of the Blade Show awards, I don't know about you guys, but I find questionable <laughs> to put it lightly, says the guy who's never been. The moment you see this compact tactical knife, compact, okay. I mean, all right. I guess it would be. The moment you see this compact tactical knife, you'll want one for your own collection. That is true. It's a definite must have. The Wii Knife Co. Diatomic, designed for exceptional performance, is a premium pocket knife crafted with precision and expertise, featuring an etched black acid wash CPM 20 CV steel dagger blade. This knife offers outstanding cutting capabilities and durability. Yeah, you know, that's kind of that's kind of frilled up a bit, maybe. <laughs> Its etched black titanium handle not only provides a sleek and tactical appearance, but also ensures, there's that word tactical because it's black, but also ensures a secure grip during use. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, it's a, it's a straight handle. With its frame lock flipper opener and cage ceramic ball bearing pivot, the diatomic offers smooth and reliable deployment. The black titanium pocket clip with a steel wheel tip allows for convenient carry, making it an ideal companion for everyday tasks. Choose the diatomic for its premium quality and exquisite craftsmanship that will stand the test of time, and you'll have a new favorite on your hands that you'll never want to let go of, is what they should have added there. Never want to let go? Well, let, let leave your presence? Okay. Uh, not a terrible write-up. It does look cool. I, I would have, uh, that, that would have been my write-up. Looks cool. <laughs> Thumbs up emoji. <laughs> and that's why Blade HQ doesn't have me writing those. 
for them. Um, they're going to be, well, we need a little more from you, Complex. You know, we need to, you know. And then I would be like, well, you got to check out my channel for the review. Hey, original goat, hog de Oh, beautiful. Ooh, DECA V2 owners. If you have the polymer skills and you've gotten tired of them. Ooh, nice. Uh, original goat, uh, I've heard are super high quality. I should get a, I should get a deck and a pair of these for myself so I can show them, but that's cool for 65 bucks. Not bad. QSP swordfish button lock. Okay. Page 14. Wow. We're on 14 pages already. There's a lot of really cool stuff at blade HQ right now. A lot of really cool stuff. Devo buzz. AKC something or other, not really interested in that. QSP Lark, mm, big old machetes. Anything else here? Let's look very quickly at coming soon. Um, more live wires, excellent, excellent OTF from Kershaw. Um, CBB button lock, Damascus, mint bug out, the white shootout. Make these in aluminum. Make these in aluminum. Um, is this not here yet? I made it sound like it was here, and maybe it's not. Okay. The new bailouts look interesting, save for the area where there should have just been a sharpening toil or some other way that they should have done that. I'm trying to be quieter during these because I know, like, the, the poor mic on this. Um, the poor mic on this. Uh, MacBook just can't deal with me screaming and you guys definitely let me know a few episodes back you're like whoa stop screaming so much are these all the diatomic all of that's coming soon so that's not even available yet okay it's mostly a lot of the stuff that we covered there so, so a lot of the new arrivals that I was excited about apparently are coming soon did we what was this on this page did I did I miss something about the Hogdeca? Oh, these are exclusive decas. Okay. This is an Ultim, um, which is kind of like, it <laughs> kind of looks like pea soaked plastic. But, you know, I mean, it, uh, as if you like clear yellow, right? You can, this is what you want. I mean, if you're going to, you know, trick out a DECA. This is the V2 and it's the polymer one and it's in Magna Cut and they do an actual stellar heat treat on these. Um, but this is what you want to buy in combination with those goat scales, which will ultimately end you with a $200 tricked out custom USA knife that is one of the greatest EDC knives ever. Uh, and I, you know, I, I put it in my top 10 best EDC fully knives ever recent video. So, um, if you're looking to do that, that's what I would recommend. Um, that's the, that's the way to spend the least amount of money there. So anyways, this has been a fun tour of Blade HQ. A surprisingly, even just slightly post Blade show, they have a lot of interesting stuff on their uh, website. I am certain that all of the retailers will slowly become ridiculously stocked full of absolutely wild stuff uh, post Blade Show. But um, this is what's here right now. Um, so like I said, everything will be linked down in the description so you guys can check it out. And uh, please do because it helps my channel when you do that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching everybody and have a great day.